man dude ask anyone in like korea ask anyone in russia ask anyone in japan ask them if like the rehearsal is the same as like the actual fight they are not the same at all man you know being able to clear the rehearsal has zero like has zero significance whether you can clear clown or not zero significance none of you none of them like uh none of them will say that it's the same none of them just nau player so yeah I don't know, and the rewards are honestly worth more than the actual rate itself. Oh my god, it's the same one. Is it the same guy, maybe? Is it the same skill yard right here? Is it the same guy? It is the same guy, oh my god. Dude, <laughs> this guy is just... Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, Firepower is still really good. So, yeah, still really good. But yeah, this is Ding Dong guys, it's Ding Dong React Time. There is some smaller topics right here that we're going through. This is Live Server Barrage uh, Artilleries right here. So yeah, so what happens with Barrage is basically people were molding because they changed it, right? You know, they put like the Barrage as like the main damage thing and uh, like the outer, uh, like outer of Barrage is just gauge generation. And people like, you know, uh, people in NAU were molding about that, right? So yeah. Now, they give the spec scaling back, so now you have the firepower damage back again, and also the barrage as well. So now you need all the gems. You need level 10, uh, the new skill gem, you need level 10 like homing barrage gem, air raid gem, and also the barrage gem. All of it basically. You need everything. But, because they give the spec scaling back, that technically makes it like uh, stronger as well. Like this class is now stronger. It's actually like uh, not that much different with like uh, the PTR. But I mean like this is much better because of like how it is. I mean like you can see how it is right now, so yeah. So this is the one right here. So it's like the barrage uh, one right here. Like you can see like how fast the rotation, uh, how how fast he can go back to like the, uh, the barrage again. So yeah, like uh, the, the barrage mode, I mean the turret basically. So yeah, he get like gauge first and then he use awakening. He transforms so the awakening has the critical rate and everything. But yeah. But this guy like uh this build can delete like Lumerus within like one minute right now. So yeah, because the awakening is up, he can go back to turret again within like two seconds. So yeah. But people were molding about like different things. <laughs> like uh on like uh what's the name on like the forum, right? People were molding that like the interesting part about the barrage artillery is going into your transform and then go out and use homing again. Damn dude, your class is really boring if that's what makes you interesting, isn't it man? <laughs> but yeah, and that's like a barrage right there. And that killed Numerus at 26 million right there. That was higher than like the summoner in PTR. So that was higher than the summoner in PTR. But yeah, that's how it goes right there. So yeah, don't, don't get debated by this Spirit Absorb by the way. Do not get debated by this Spirit Absorb. He's running like all out level 2 as well by the way. So yeah, that Spirit Absorb level 2 is basically yearning. It's just for yearning attack speed. That's it basically. So don't get debated by that one. So yeah, didn't even realize you could kill that motherfucker. Yeah, you can kill it if you have like higher DPS than like his regeneration. So yeah, is this hallucination? Uh, I didn't see it actually. Didn't see it, didn't see it. I'm pretty sure it's salvation though. This is the salvation set. Yeah, it's a long one right here. Well, you can... Uh, oh, not this one. Copy, copy, copy. So, yeah. So, that's just part of it. That's like the new barrage artillery right there. So, yeah. Now, do this with the boss that does cutscenes and jumps around. Of course. I mean, like, we're talking about, like, just, like, Trixion damage right now, right? So, yeah. The blaster players that are mad got lost in the sauce too used to being able to double dip class engraving. Hey, man. I guess you can reroll out of it, I guess that's fine. So, yeah. I mean, like, uh, it's buff, right? So, yeah. It's salvation. Oh, yeah, it is salvation. Nah, it's salvation build, yeah. The icon is there, the buff. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't check. He's not running grudge, nah, he's running grudge. He scrolled down because, like, his uh, build is there. Oops. Okay. There. So, yeah. But that's basically how it is. This is what you run, right? This is what you run. And then after that, like, uh, you have all-out attack level 2. All-out attack is not your priority, as usual. Because, like, since they give back the damage on your, like, uh, firepower, and also Q is not buffed by all-out attack, all-out attack gives you way less damage than, like, uh, Hitmaster or Crystal or stuff like that. So, yeah. 
let's buff it another time with PTR. That's another thing that I wanna touch on. I think this is like one way to do it basically. They just like, you know, they, they tell you to swap like the build, right? But then, so they're not that mad, let's buff them. Everyone swaps to that, people were not mad anymore, now we nerf them. Slash 10%, slash 20% here, you know. 50% damage here and there. Done. Balance at that point. So yeah, this is only barrage, yeah. Without the firepower. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah. Salvation one of the best set generally? No, it's not. So yeah. It is in hell mode, but yeah. That's basically how it goes. I mean like it's the same thing. I feel like it's the same. It's the same trend with like uh, Summoner as well. Summoner in PTR did not get changed at all, right? So Summoner is still really strong in like the live server. So yeah, then like later once people swap over, people are not mad. Nah, slash it right there. Just nerf it after that. It's just standard basically. So yeah. <laughs> Let's make it bad again. Yeah, maybe you're bad. That's why. Okay. They will nerf it after one month. It's a smaller patch than before. So yeah. I don't know. That's just part of it right there. So yeah. Is the damage a bit too high though? Mm, I don't know. I mean like it's not really realistic to pull this number in an actual fight. So yeah. There is that. There is that right there. Firepower de dead? No, you're dead. So yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well anyway. move on. We move on right here. Because like uh, I'm losing brain cell uh, with like how stupid people are right now. We're moving on, we're moving on right now. So yeah, usual people with like less brain cell. And uh, you know, them being here like is lowering everyone's like uh, like everyone here in the chat is more stupid now for look for like reading that in the chat right there. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's move on. So there is this one right here. Uh, I made like this uh, video about like the rehearsal like uh, yesterday and everything. But you know how like uh, people are like a bit stupid as usual. But yeah, this is the one right here. So you can run the new raid at 1385 via rehearsal mode. It's the same fight, just equalize. It is not equalized and it is not the same fight. You will see. So yeah, it just gives a dungeon currency called Mars of Madness instead of gold and drops to upgrade your set bonus. Honestly, the rehearsal rewards are better. How would you how would you even say this when literally doing the normal raid give you the Mars of Madness as well? Like, dude. I don't know where this guy get their info right here, but I mean like, uh, what were we expecting, right? So yeah, what were we expecting? But yeah, again man, for people that were still wondering, right? If you have like the item level to do the normal one, do the normal one. Because there is no point for you to run the rehearsal when you get both reward in one go anyway. So yeah, Kuku literally gives the Mars of Madness as well, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Gems and tripods work in rehearsal? Yes, it does. It's not equalized. It's not equalized. No. Not equalized. Didn't you upload this video to YouTube yesterday? I did, yes. I know. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. But yeah. <laughs> but I mean like uh but the the part where like you know gives you dungeon currency called Marvel's and he said the rehearsal rewards are better is just stupid. Because you get it in the normal one as well. So what do you mean new run the new rate? If you can't run the normal one, run the normal one. Why waste your time? So yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, he just probably didn't know. He didn't know better right there. So yeah, he just didn't know that like the normal one gives you the Mars of Madness as well. So yeah. On top of that, you get like the Legion drop and the Gold drop, by the way. Do not run rehearsal first. First of all, it will lock your main character from like uh, entering like clown. So that's stupid right there. Don't do that right there. Second of all, you can technically do it on your alt first with the rehearsal mode, but it's a waste of time. Because you're gonna do the, the your main on like the actual legion raid anyway. Why do, why not just do that and stop wasting time, right? Unless maybe like you want your time to get wasted. The only reason why you would you would run rehearsal first is because like let's say uh oh man dude uh, clown is so easy it took me like about like two hours to clear it. I wanna take more time, right? Well, if that is the case, you can go on your alt rehearsal first to waste your time, then go to your main and do the actual fight. You don't get extra reward at all though, so yeah, because this Mark of Madness are like roster limited and weekly. So after you do it on your alt, finish like rehearsal, your main will not get Mark of Madness anymore. So yeah, uh, Ginto, thank you for following, welcome, 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 welcome. So familiar since you watched the YouTube video yesterday and you mentioned this, yep. All critics slide the uh, right off. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> doesn't that trivialize the fight though if you go in with 1445 fully stacked character to rehearsal? I mean, yeah, because it's 1385, it's balanced around like legendary accessories. 
yeah, it kind of like trivializes it until you in enter 1475. Then you realize actually, I uh, I still suck, man. <laughs> so yeah, I mean it's 1385 content basically. It's the same level as like a uh, Velganos. I would still say that rehearsal is still harder than Bolton though. So do heads up on that. But it's definitely like watered down super easy compared to like uh, the actual clown fight. It's not the same at all. So yeah. Short TLDR, it does damage. That's what it was at there. Okay. Okay, time to bus rehearsal, yeah. But anyways, uh, moving on, moving on right here. Moving on. So there is that part right here, the rehearsal mode. And like there is this another thing right here. So yeah. Ooh. It's an interesting one right here. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. But yeah, anyways, this is one right here, so yeah. Don't push to 1475 until Brawl Shaza, Kakul Seidon's reward are trash. Don't know what this guy is high on right now, high on crack, but yeah. But you lose Argos gold, focus on alts. Like literally, you get more gold from like Kakul Seidon, but sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Actual clown is a clown compared to hell clown. What do you mean? Whenever we're doing hell clown, it's literally an AU right there. And it's so hard to get through their brains, you know. That's why Hellclown is so hard, man. <laughs> Haven't read this one. Oh yeah, let's go, man. It's the time to go right here. But yeah, anyways. This raid only nets you 1400 gold after you buy the boxes. Okay, which is less than Argos. Eh? Oh, uh, because of that. Uh, because of like, uh, wait. Argos gold, uh... I don't remember like what's the box for Argos basically. Well, doesn't matter the gold income basically. So yeah, which stops giving gold at 1475 as of Kakul patch. And if you thought hard bikers was difficult, Kakul is 10 times harder. I mean, that depends right there, to be honest. But sure, I guess. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, of course, 2700 is more. I think he's talking about after you buy the boxes. So yeah. So that's how it goes right there. Box is 500. Or was it 900? Was the box? Yeah, I don't remember. Like, remember like the actual uh, that one. But we'll see right here. Here's the thing, right? If you're still worried about gold at like 1475 at this point right right now, man, you have issues probably, dude. You probably have issues if you have like issue, uh, like uh, this part right here. <laughs> so I don't know about that, man. I don't think like you should be worrying about gold whenever you wanna enter Kakul. If you are, if you wanna worry about gold, then none of your main should be like above like 1445 at this point because it's expensive. <laughs> So yeah, but anyways, let's move on and let's see like uh, his argument right there. Pretty much the only thing of value is the trumpets that drop. You need to farm the raid for a couple of months and buy the boxes to upgrade your set bonus. Yeah, I mean like the thing that is value in like Volten and Vikas is also like the wings and also like the bones for your gear set. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. The upgrade is about three percent more DPS. That's stupid right there. Where is your ma your math goes through? Where did this math comes from? It's around 6 to 10% depending on your gear set. Ooh. But yeah, anyways, right here, yeah. But anyways, but anyways, yeah. While it's nice, it will be irrelevant almost immediately. Because when you do Brawl you get new gear set, you get the upgrade set bonus. Huh? You do not. Oi. <laughs> you do not. Where did you get this info? You do not. You don't get it. You still need the clown to re-upgrade the Avril gear. You don't get the upgraded set bonus. Eh? Well, classic Reddit idiots right here. At least there is zero like uh, up doodles right here, but yeah. <laughs> you do not. You still have to upgrade yourself, by the way. When you upgrade, when you upgrade to Brawl Shaza, you need to dismantle your old gear to refund the trumpet and then use the trumpet to like upgrade the Brawl Shaza gear. Basically, that's what you have to do. So yeah. The clown, the clown. This is like a Reddit clowns right here. So yeah. So all of that work is just temporary 3% DPS buff. Sure, bro. <laughs> so about the equivalent of one extra tap on your weapon. At that point, no. Because it's better than your weapon anyway. <laughs> your weapon like at this point gives you like around like 2% maybe. At like plus 19. So yeah. And, uh, in care, this was such an issue that they added Aster weapon mats to Kakul Seidon uh, to make the raid worth doing, but we won't get that for a long time. Huh? No, it's because uh, Kakul is the end game basically. Volton Vikas is baby content, while Kakul and Brel Shaza is like uh, still on the harder side for like uh, end game. <laughs> That's why the Aster thing is there. Or else, like, why do they put like Kayangel over there? Kayangel give you Aster like material, right? But then like it's like Volton difficulty. 
It's because it's end game, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. So to recap, unless you're desperate to clear Galaxy, don't get Rolic Pesat bonus upgraded ASAP to flex your prowess as a hardcore player. Don't push to 4075. You can access the practice mode at 1385, which is almost entirely the same fight. Man, dude, ask anyone in like Korea, ask anyone in Russia, ask anyone in Japan. Ask them if like the rehearsal is the same as like the actual fight. They are not the same at all, man. You know, being able to clear the rehearsal has zero like has zero significance whether you can clear clown or not. Zero significance. None of none of them like uh none of them will say that it's the same. None of them. Just NAU players. So yeah. I don't know, and the rewards are honestly worth more than the actual rate itself. Oh my god, it's the same one. <laughs> is it the same guy, maybe? Is it the same skill art right here? Is it the same guy? It is the same guy! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> this guy is just... Oh yeah, yeah! <laughs> it is the same guy, both of them is the same. The OB is the same, dude, it's the same guy! <laughs> god damn it! Ah, this guy is just like, I don't know, man, you know? Yeah, this is why we lose brain cell right here. Now we wonder like we got brain damage, right? And it's because of this, man. Now we have brain damage now. Brain damage, brain damage. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is just like... Uh, what can we do, right? You know, sometimes that's how it goes right there. <laughs> Without a tier 2 set bonus. Yeah, exactly. Good luck for him as well. Because like a Braille party... In Korea, at the like second it came out, no one would accept you if you don't have level two, like level two gear set. Because not not having level two gear set means you haven't cleared clown. Because if you have, you would have have it, right? And if you can't clear clown, then why would you be taken to Brel when it is Brel harder, right? When Brel is harder. So yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I'm like this the guy right there. I don't want to believe someone can be this much stupid. His acting, <laughs> it's just a trolling right now. Brain cell plague, dude. Ten out of ten troll. It's probably the type of guy to use heavy armor on DPS as well. Mm, you never know, maybe, I guess, but that doesn't have anything to do with this, I guess. <laughs> the lower average IQ of an EU by one just by himself. Yeah, this sole person right there. So, yeah. Grinding level 10 gems to finally skip the next content and doing 1385 practice mode. Yeah, I don't know, man. OP, the kind of dude who time stop mechanic instead of learning them. Maybe, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, this is the one right there. The damage increase that ranges from 5 to 10%. That's more accurate right there. Total depending on the set, that's permanent damage increase, not temporary. This damage increase will help immensely including other later down the line, so saying that you should ignore it is just plain wrong. Yeah. Saying that this is their temporary solution ain't gonna help either, as they only give out the currency shop, yeah? While normal Kaku gives both trumpet and currency, yeah, see, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Uh, there is no reason for you to skip it as Kako said is always gonna be the biggest bottleneck that you will have on upgrading your relic set because there is no other sources of it. I don't know, man. <laughs> Condom currency. Well, that's just like we, what people call it, I guess. For some reason, uh, people call it right there, so yeah. That's weird post. Of course, I'm gonna push my main to play last one where you tell me how to play my game. This stuff will always surprise me. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know, man. Wait, there is a post by him. He replied right there. He can access the new raid at 1385. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is just how it goes. OP still does normal Volton and Vikas because they don't need to flex their prowess and the loot is better. Yeah, you can just park at 1430 and just uh, park over there and get, like, enough region set and everything, right? You know? No reason to, like, get higher than that. No reason, no reason. I don't know, man. This is just, like, you know... Again, guys, man, don't get debated by this, man. This is so, such a stupid thing, actually. This is so stupid, man. Like, goddammit, dude. <laughs> As I said, man, everyone here in this chat is now, like, you know, less smart, you know. They are more stupid now in this chat because we had to go through this right now. Everyone in this chat, right? it's not just me, everyone in this chat. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this OP is what we call a bad seed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. Nah, nah, nah. Don't, don't uh, ignore this one, right? Here. This is such a stupid thing. This, this guy right here. Don't listen to this guy. Well, I made the post about the rehearsal yesterday, so like the details are there, right? So you guys can like uh, look it up later. But yeah, just in case, this is the part right here. So yeah, TLDR, man. Don't listen to this guy. Upgrade. Do the Kaku Seiden. It's important. You need to get it right there. So yeah, this guy's math is blowing my mind. Uh, he doesn't even have like a clue on like how clown reward actually even works or everything. Just don't listen to this guy. 
so yeah <laughs> just been rotting for years yeah <laughs> 10 times harder if you're this guy <laughs> but yeah how much the dps is level 2 nightmare from like a uh, level 1 they're around like probably like for nightmare is like around 8 percent maybe maybe mm. See, here is the thing, right? It depends on your weapon quality as well because of additional damage on level 4 and level 6 set. But by itself, the level 2 set, right, gives you 15% increased uh, damage already. And that's multiplicative on the 2, two set. And that's only the 2 set, not the 6 set. So, yeah, it highly depends on that as well. You have to look it up. But yeah, you need to clear like 8 weeks for like a level 2 gear set. But then like that assumes you don't win the bidding. If you win the bidding, then it's faster. But that's only if you win the bidding. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, yeah, that's the end right here for this one right here. It's ding dong, brain cell losing. Yeah, brain cell loss is over right now. We're done here. Like, don't listen to this guy right here. Like, goddamn. <laughs> the, uh, but it's fine, you know. This is the kind of guy that makes my content unlimited, man. Unlimited content, bro. Unlimited. So yeah, if this guy's not here, there is no content for me, man. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, that's uh, React Andy, man. That's Ding Dong over for now. That was fun, that was fun. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get back into it for now then. Let's get back into it.